Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk about how the moment you reach your maximum hand speed in the downswing can affect dynamic loft and shaft deflection. So let's dive in. Okay, so here we are on my gear system. And I've got two players who reach their maximum hand speed in different areas in the, in the downswing. And I want to show you exactly what that's going to do to shaft deflection and dynamic loft. So let's start off with our guy on the left here. And just going to take him up to the top. And what I want you to watch here is basically how he accelerates the grip. Now I'm going to call this grip speed. And right at the top now, at this moment in time, we're pretty much at zero, sort of zero, 90 miles an hour at the top of the backswing. Now I'm going to take this swing now all the way down to where he gets to his maximum grip speed, which is in this area here. That's it right there. So he's now at 2159. That is his maximum hand speed. And as you can see, the club is still pretty much up uh, up there at 60, 70 degrees vertical. So we've got all this distance now for the club to accelerate. So his hand speed is, is pretty much the average. That's, that's pretty much the average we're going to get for, for good players. Now if I keep coming down now, we're going to see when he gets it to the, the shaft to, to parallel to the ground, his hands are going to be in front of his right thigh. That's another characteristic you're going to find with, with good players. And if I take him to impact, we're going to see that his hands are slightly in front of the ball or, or at least pretty much in line with the club head. And what that tends to do is reduce shaft deflection. So you can see the head, the club head, is not really in front of the, in front of the shaft here. It's only a slight bit of deflection. There's actually not enough deflection in this case. We've got 11, 11 millimeters of, of, of positive deflection. Generally speaking, I'm going to be looking for this sort of player uh, between 25 and 30 millimeters of deflection. So this this guy could actually do with a shaft which would be a little little softer in the in the tip section. But this is this is the what what happens when you accelerate in this way. So when you actually look at this again, I'm just going to take him back up to where he was in maximum hand speed in this area. If you actually look at club head speed. His club head is at 50 miles an hour here. And when we get it to impact, he's at 101. So we've basically picked up 50 miles an hour of club head speed from the, when he gets to his maximum hand speed and when he gets to his maximum club head speed. So his hands are slowing down. He's actually, his hands, hands have gone from 21.56 to 13, I think it is. Yeah, 13.73. So he slowed his hands down pretty much eight, uh, 8 miles an hour coming into impact. And the club head is accelerated by 51. That's that's definitely a, a characteristic of the way a good player accelerates the club head. Now if I show you the guy on the right now, and he's in red for a reason. I think you're going to understand. So if you take him up to the top, let's do the same thing. Let's just look at his his uh, his grip speed. So right here at the top of the backswing, yet again we're pretty much a zero, one mile an hour grip speed at this moment in time. I'm going to take him down. So if we just look at that grip speed, it's still coming up. It's pretty much at 21 miles an hour now, pretty much in the same time as, as the other guy. But if the difference is that he's going to be still accelerating, it's still 21. As you can see now with the shaft parallel to the ground, his hands are much further back. As the other guy had his hands in front of his right thigh. He's still back here. And if we keep going, it's still accelerating. We're still at 21. And it's going to start slowing down about in this area here. So he's pretty much reached his maximum hand speed in this area. So much, much later. So there's only from here to here for the club head to accelerate now. And this is going to create a lot more dynamic loft and a lot more shaft deflection. You can already see the shaft is de deflecting forward from this way. So basically speaking, the later you get to your maximum hand speed, the more the shaft has tendency to deflect forwards. And certainly in this case, with the hands being further back, the hands are actually going to almost move backwards. So his, 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 his hands are, are pretty much breaking in this direction, going to the, from right to left. And the club head is going from obviously left to right. 
and that's creating more shaft deflection, more positive shaft deflection. So this guy has 48, almost 49 millimeters of shaft deflection, and that's obviously going to create a lot more dynamic loft. So we look at this, he's up to 18 uh, degrees of dynamic loft, and he's actually hitting down in it 3 degrees, so that's going to create a, a very big spin loft, spin loft of 21 degrees, which is going to create a high ball flight with a lot of backspin. So he's definitely creating some speed, but the way he's creating it is creating a lot more shaft deflection and more dynamic loft. Compared to the other guy, he's coming in, he actually started with 12 degrees, he's coming into impact with 14 and a half. So he's actually, he's probably going to have a, a, a ball flight which is actually too low. So we've got two complete opposite ways of accelerating the hands, which are going to orientate me to different shaft selection. So this guy is going to need to get a shaft much stiffer in the tip section and probably less dynamic, less static loft. And the other guy is going to need probably softer in the tip section with more dynamic loft or more, stat more uh, static loft. So two completely different ways of accelerating. So you can see is the way you, you accelerate and decelerate your hands are going to change the way the club works and the, the dynamic loft it's going to produce. So as you've seen, the myth of actually trying to accelerate your hands until impact is not really true. The majority of good players tend to arrive with their maximum hand speed with the shaft at about 60 degrees and then they will, the hands will then decelerate while keeping the hands in front of the club head. This is definitely a, a much better way of controlling dynamic loft. That will reduce shaft deflection. Funnily enough, long drivers actually try and tend to try and do the opposite, i.e. slowing, really slowing the hand speed down as much as possible coming into impact and creating more dynamic loft with more shaft deflection. But they're looking for more speed and they're also using drivers with a lot less loft. But generally speaking, you want to be having a maximum hand speed around this area here it will then slow down whilst you keep your hands in front of the club head. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon for some more videos in the near future.